The Patriots fall to the Commanders in Week 3 of the NFL preseason, ending their three-week run with a record of 1-2. and two. They obviously beat the Carolina Panthers 17-3, lost to the Philadelphia Eagles 14-13, and then lost to the Commanders 20-1. On today's episode of Patriots Today by Chad Sports, we're going to break down my instant reaction and everything that I saw from the last preseason game ahead of the cutdown for the 53-man roster on Tuesday. Number 1. Drake may needs to be QB1. I'll be the first one to say it. There is a different aura when Drake May is in the ball game than when Jacob Brett is. However, unfortunately, up until this point, the quarterback battle has been pretty neck and neck between Jacob Brett and Drake May. But because of some incidents that did happen in week one, which did include, unfortunately, some injury updates, which we'll give you guys in just a few moments, it looks like Drake May may have an upper hand at getting QB1 sooner rather than later. But before we hop into that, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me if you guys haven't already. We'll be live for every single New England Patriots football game, and we post daily videos about the Patriots news and rumors, especially ahead of that 53-man cutdown for the roster coming up on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me if you haven't already. Jacob Brett went down in the first series of the Week 3 preseason game against the Commanders and Ian Rappaport tweeted out that Brett suffered a right shoulder injury and was questionable to return. However, the latest update that we do have is that Jacob Brissett was on the sideline for the entire game after coming out with that injury. He was still in his pads. He definitely was grimacing. He was definitely holding his shoulder out there, you know, giving that grit through his teeth when he got hit, but seemingly a sign the injury is not serious. Head coach Rod May will update after this game, and we'll update you guys on what we know about what Gerard Mayo had to say. 